And what about if I truly believe that things can change, will I wake up to something different? I think that would go back to that, that same thing of, of manifesting the dream, create your own reality kind of situation. Uh, there's so much to be said about the, the mantra and intention and practicing things over and over in your head as far as how you want your reality to be sculpted. And it takes a lot of practice to to do all of that presence, presence, presence. I'm here, I'm here. Where are you? Oh, I was thinking about the past. No, I'm here. No, I'm worried about the future. No, I'm here. You know, you have to you have to keep on doing it and and you have to keep on believing in the bigger things too. I we're all told uh, through the media to have this cynicism or to think that we understand the universe more than we do. And it takes a lot of strength to step out of that and say, I want to believe in something bigger and I want to have guts to, to have faith in that without having to argue with anybody about what that is. I woke up. That whole journey out into space to find that light is that space is curved, as you know, and so the universe, instead of being a plane, can blow up like a balloon. And since there is no time on the energy level, and if you remove time and you could see far enough, the farthest that you can possibly see would be the back of your head. <laughs> so you can search as far as you want to search, and you can journey as far as you want to journey, and you'll ultimately end up right here, right now. And that gives me hope. I also think we live in this bizarre moment where we're inundated with the opposite of hope. Mm -hmm. You know, the terrible things happening in the world, the, <laughs> the presidential election, the way um, <laughs> that won't make it into the show, but um, <laughs> um, the... Uh, the way news is defined mm -hmm. and brought to we're us. Out right now, but now we're here and we are incredibly advanced organisms who are not grasping our potential. And we have to be courageous about laying down our insecurities and our, our fears and uh, in order to get to the point that we can really embrace that energy in us. We, th there was a, a fact that I read. All of physical matter, as we know, is made of energy. And all of physical matter can be converted back into energy. And it takes a tremendous amount of energy to make the smallest particle of matter. And so in the average human body... There's seven times 10 to the 18th power joules of energy, and that translates into 30 hydrogen bombs. Just this physical body right here, the energy in it is equivalent to 30 hydrogen bombs. I have right now, and that's my only guarantee. I, I, I don't know about tomorrow, but I have right now, and I've got this power. What am I gonna do with it? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay.